Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. No. No. You're under arrest. No, please. You're under arrest. No, please don't. You're under arrest. No. No, no, no. No, please don't. No. You have two options. No, no, please. No, please don't. No. You're under arrest. No. Stand up. My ex husband called you guys. Please don't. You have a warrant. You have a warrant. How the fuck that happened? Thank you so much. I appreciate it for real. I cannot go to jail. I can't. I can't. I, can't. I won't last there. You know? How the fuck that happened? What is all this? What is all this? Get your phone back here. He's here with you Hey, hey, hey. Oh, man. This your podcast. This your podcast. This your podcast. Welcome back. Yeah, you know I mean, guess who's Bazette? <laughs> Go ahead. Hold with on. the crank up the ass. Ain't that what you say? Whoa. <laughs> what? What is you talking about? I don't know. You must be saying something <laughs> like with the crank up. No cracking on no. ass. Oh. What do we? You starting off <laughs> all the <laughs> No, what kind of day did you have? <laughs> Wait, no, that's no. never a line. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's guess who's been Zach? Guess who's been me. Zach? <laughs> you you want to tell us? Still smell the crack in my clothes. <laughs> yes. And don't let me relapse on these hoes. Don't get relapsed. On. I don't know what the hell you're you talking about. about the crack of nobody's crack ass. ass. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, the heat, you, must, you must be delirious from the heat or something. I know it was 100 hey, degrees. It is 105 out here in Philly, but damn. Damn. I don't know what you want. <laughs> Guess who's the Zach with the crack in my ass? Whoa. <laughs> you starting Patreon after dark early. Lord have mercy. Oh I mean, this joint after dark. <laughs> you know I mean, this joint podcast. God oh damn. my God. Oh my nerves. Boy, the crew was here tonight as usual. <laughs> Tuesday. Yes. In the building. You know, it ain't going to be no ladies' what? last introduction. We can yeah. start you off first. Yeah. You know what I mean? Honey dip tea yeah, in the they, building. They, yes, they it's right there. The best for last. <laughs> Too late for that. <laughs> Too late. It's honey dip. Hello, yeah. everyone. Yeah, I ain't no, no, you know what I'm saying? My man over here. I got my well, man listen, over here. I, I don't know if y'all yeah, see, yeah, y'all see it, but uh, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Spit on that tag. Spit on that tag. You know, it's your boy CJ. You already know. I do a lot, but I don't do the most. But um, if you want to do a little something, something, let me know. Goodness gracious. Yeah, and, and, and you know, my you know, little Sadar Gay, right here. You know what I mean? My homegirl, yeah, you know I mean? And my sis hook, she hooked us up tonight. Listen. She hooked us up tonight. And she don't want to she don't want to hawk to her. He said, let me. If she don't want to hawk to her. I don't want to talk to her. Don't talk to her. <laughs> <laughs> you on fire tonight. I mean, this your oh, podcast, this y'all. Podcast. Y'all know what it is, man. Y'all know what it is. As yeah, usual, we got five viral videos to react to. We're going to have some fun. So we need you to sit back. Sit back. Have some fun. Relax. Relax yourself. Enjoy us. You know what I'm saying? Comment and subscribe. You heard the woman. Yeah. You heard Sit your five dollar ass down before we may change. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on. Before we get started, yo man, did y'all check out that new show on Netflix, man? Um yeah. Supercell? No. Nah. No, see I don't really watch TV, yeah. but uh, oh. I, I I saw Fire. a little bit of it, but I I mean I ain't really watch TV. So. Yeah. Fire, I love it. No, nah, I mean you gotta watch it. Check it out. You gotta watch it. All right, I'll try. A whole bunch of if black man dingoes waiting on you. Oh, for real? Okay. Yeah, waiting on you. As long as they worth it. Yeah, you know I mean, watch it. Idris Albers. Mm. Look at her. 
Don't Jesus. leave no puddles. Sexual, Don't leave no puddles on the couch. Chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Don't leave no puddles on the couch. Whoa. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I mean, so, yo, some, so. some some Idris Elbas, some damn uh, some Idris. Yeah, Idris. I some 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 Idrises over yeah. there for you. Some some little chocolate candies over there for yeah. you. Oh yeah, the boy from uh, BMF is in it. The, uh, he played Lamar. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he do. Yeah, yeah he yeah. do. Yeah, I mean, see. you know what's crazy? I didn't know the boy was uh, from London. Yeah, most of them Yeah, dudes, yeah. yeah he from London. Yeah, most yeah, of them tripped me from out. UK, yep. I was like, oh, shit, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, he had, he had a heavy accent and everything. Mm-hmm. But anyway. Anyway. Shall we, get this, shall we get this thing here cracking? Let's crack a After we tell them where else they can hear us. Oh, well, go ahead, run it down. Okay, yeah, we're going to run it down. So, we on Pandora. Pandora. YouTube Music. YouTube mm-hmm. Music. Apple Music. Apple mm-hmm. Music. Spotify. Spotify. What else? What else? iHeartRadio. iHeartRadio. Uh, what about Google Podcast? Oh, it's Google Podcast. Google Podcast. Yes. everywhere. Look, yes, yes. if y'all can't catch us on YouTube, you can catch us on one of those. So, yeah, if you don't want to see my beautiful face, or if you can't catch my beautiful face, you can hear my beautiful voice oh <laughs> see haters i didn't say nothing i mean i didn't even say nothing <laughs> i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> yeah oh el plaga oh is in the building plaga plaga that's my man next week i am going to be in control of all those all, all those, those what yeah mm-hmm. all yeah. that all of that yeah. Who's Noodle Man? Oh, yeah. yeah I don't know, but you know, let's give a shot. Noodle Man in the building. Yeah. Uh, 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 noodle Man in the building. Hey, listen, what's up, Noodle Man? But can you do me a favor? Can you at the person that you're putting them, them hard eyes? We just need to make sure, you know, we, we, and we love everybody, the LGBTQ and everybody, so it's no, no, no shade, but you, we want to know who that's exactly for. We think we know, but. I'm letting you, let you know right now, Noodle Man. <laughs> If you if you hard eyes to me, I need a steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta come right. You gotta come right. You wanna want to date Lowe's now, goddammit. Oh, okay. So you go that way, see? You go that way, Lowe's? Let me find out. And listen, as much as my so, goddamn child support okay. is hell, look, I need somebody to help me make these bills, goddammit. So listen, he said it, he said it's for tea, which we are hey, new. It's, it's honey honey dip. All right. Can I call you the, the nickname version? Do I gotta give you the whole version? No, honey dip. Okay, so it's tea. for honey dip tea. So Hey, hey, don't disrespect my name. No, I'm not. It's for honey dip tea, which we already thought. Yeah. But um, what did I tell you? I told you as this podcast grows. It was going to be coming out for you. Yeah. We got Noodle Man hey, already. Hey, 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 Noodle. See, T got a problem with people. See, now, oh, I don't want nobody to know I'm on I'm on a podcast. Girl, shut, shut, up. shut the <laughs> fuck up. Noodle Man. Put your, put your Instagram up there in the uh, comments. We're going to make sure we uh, connect y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I've been trying to get T set up with some with, with, with some some sugar daddy for a minute. Look, it's about quality, not quantity. This ain't okay? quantity. It's one man. He uh, he's shooting a shot. So we going. I'm talking about Lowe's. He always uh, trying to hook me uh, up with okay. somebody. Oh, because you're my sis. I gotta oh I gotta gosh. make sure you I make sure you straight. I don't want you single. Well, on, top, yeah. on top of the abuse that I get though, y'all. Whoa. Like they abuse me. <laughs> Both Whoa. CJ and Carlo abuses me. Whoa. Not Is that love, God damn it. <laughs> I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, man. My man knew this was new set coming out the closet. <laughs> <laughs> Be like R. Ah. Trapped in the closet. You've been trapped in the closet all Whoa. this time? Are, are you saying like R. Kelly? Mm-hmm. That was wild. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Shit. I ain't no R. Kelly. I'm R. Belly up in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I get I get I get a little thing. Give me a little thing. Rub this belly right here. A little Goodness thing. Gracious. <laughs> anyway, man. So let's get this thing. Let's get this party started, let's man. Let's go. get the first video. So the first video. We got Ayana, a law student and mother of five that's now going blind for getting her eyeballs tattooed. Or my hammers. Yeah, I'm gonna let Peanut kick this off people. as usual. Yeah. It's Fish Jump Podcast. Oh, let's go. So, a law student got her eyeballs tattooed blue and purple to copy an influencer that she followed, and now she's going blind. The mother of five was inspired by Blue Eyed Dragon, aka Amber Luke, 
who actually herself went blind for three weeks after getting the tattoos in her eyeballs done, but she recovered. Now, Anaya said that she was in awe of it and decided that she was just going to get one eye done just in case she did go blind, she still had the other eye. Regretfully, she did say she wished she would have listened to her seven-year-old daughter who expressed major concerns about her possibly going blind doing this procedure. But anywho, she did what she wanted to do, and in July of 2020, against all warnings, she went and got just the one eye done. She got her right eye blue. She waited a little while, and in December of 2020, a few months later, she got the other eye purple. And within 12 months of those procedures, that's when the vision started acting up and she woke up looking like this. She said she felt and looked like she had gone five rounds with Mr. Mike Tyson. She immediately went to the hospital where they did a biopsy on the eye and regretfully informed her that she was likely going blind. Now she says that she no longer has 20-20 vision. From a distance, she can barely make out features on faces and she continues to have new floaters in her eyes. But don't worry because according to tattoo expert Amber Luke, if your eyeballs are done correctly, you shouldn't go blind from them. But in a world of no regrets, when asked if she regretted this decision, she said if she could go back in time, she would have just done one eye and done it black and just left it at that. Hey, T.Y., <laughs> T.Y. in the building. And Jalil, what's up, y'all? What's up? What's up? Thanks for joining us. But first of all. I don't know. I don't know no T.Y. Wait a minute. It's like, I love your tea. <laughs> Don't love your tea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. Who, who, who else came in? Oh, L. Boogie came in. L. Boogie in the building. Sorry, right, skip right. over L. Boogie. Right. Skip over hey, L. Boogie. Nah, we ain't doing that. We're skipping over L. Boogie. We're talking about hating. <laughs> No, no. He's a loyal supporter. You talking about skip? El in the building favorite. every shout out, weekend. Shout out to El Boogie. Hey, give joking, shout out to El Boogie, man. Hey. Who in the hell? Look, is taking this chick serious as a lawyer That's with blue and purple eyes? First of all, <laughs> she <laughs> went to the law school. <laughs> From uh, Everest College, okay. You sitting on the couch. You ain't doing nothing with yourself. She went to Everest College Law School, so don't hate on her. Oh, what, no hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What ain't the hell? No what the hell is Everest College? You don't remember the commercial back in the day where the guy be like, "You're sitting on your couch. You ain't doing oh, nothing." Shit. Okay. Come down to Everest College. <laughs> ain't no way in hell I would use her as my lawyer. Please. Never. Not she couldn't be my law clerk. <laughs> listen, listen. All I want to know is, man, what? My people, my people, my people, my people. Why my people? Why my people so easily influenced? What? What, oh, did, what did I say? Because what? a lot of people, Jay, they just lose this authentic authenticity with them, and they just want to be followers. Follow with the follow the crowd. Like, why can't you just be genuine? Be yourself. That, that be a just, trendsetter. Look, that's just be a trendsetter. That's just too extreme what for me. Did I Blue say? and the purple eyeballs. All right, yeah. Don't get me wrong. I know a lot of people. They do like the enlarged, you know, uh, ears or you know the, the piercings. But the eyeballs. Come on, that that was that's just common sense. What <laughs> did I say about? I think it was, this might have been the last episode. In this country, the United States government needs to focus on mental health. <laughs> These people have mental health issues. Yeah, this, this, no sane person wants to color their eyeballs. For what? What courtroom is you going into and say, you know what, Your Honor? She's following what she sees. You know I, what? I think this is way beyond mental health. This ain't got to do with mental health. This sorry. Mental with health. This, no, no, sorry. I don't think well, hold on, T, no, T, T, you don't think it's a mental health thing? Oh, I, not with this one. Why? With, with that chick? You don't think that chick got and some other mental health issues? She not. You so think she's eyeballs tattooed? You think she's you sane? Think mental health? <laughs> you don't think so? Man, that bitch crazy as a motherfucker. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call that YouTube. Ah, yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yeah, track that one, YouTube. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. Yeah, please redact that. <laughs> now, well, you know, so let's go to the first comment. So the first comment says, a law student? Right. Question mark. <laughs> Who would hire a lawyer with blue and purple eyes? Right. That don't make sense. Hey, yeah, for real. Again, if she come up and she's like, "Your Honor, my client is the judge." Is like, wait, you ain't the, you not the <laughs> wait, you're not the client. You're the you're lawyer, not the defendant. Oh, uh, guilty. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong. Like, we can't discriminate because I I am definitely a person that likes variety. I like color. Like, if y'all haven't noticed, I'm always wearing like some different kind of color hair. 
Don't get me wrong, but the, she went to the extreme. But you're not it, coloring your eyeballs. No, she went to the extreme with them eyeballs. Yes, she definitely did. That Where do you get that done at? Like, I, I, <laughs> how, what, do you, what do you Google? Eyeball coloring doctor? I like, wouldn't even. I, I wouldn't even Google it. The hell? Yeah, look, please. We don't give. We don't need to give people ideas. Right. Man. <laughs> oh, I was watching this on Bagat, and they said, <laughs> and they said I, can I can go get my eyeballs. eyeballs colored here. Yeah, you crazy motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, <laughs> so let's go to uh, comment number two. Says I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to say it. <laughs> if this is an example of her decision making, I would never want her as an attorney. Hell right. no. Yeah, exactly. Man, I wonder what her decision making is like when it comes to that daughter of hers. Because obviously her daughter got more sense than she do for her to tell her mother. So who's the parent now, in the relationship? Oh, hold on, hold on. Who's what, the parent what, and who's the child? What did the daughter say, Mom? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. The yeah. fact that the daughter so you know what? Old, at this that. point, the daughter might as well just might as well just raise herself. What, she, are you trying to say the daughter should be the parent? Yeah. Oh shit. Now, where is her dad? <laughs> she, wherever he at, he got to step up fast. Get her out of there. <laughs> Before you fuck around and call up my daughter. I'm like, <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna have your ass up in motherfucking custody. Thing. Custody court. Yeah, I'm gonna get you everything. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna get you everything you got. I need to know what type of law she is studying. Mm. Is it criminal law? Is it corporate law? I need to understand because I I don't know how she represents a, a company and they come in here. She got a, a purple. But see, this is my eye. thing. Like I've because we we are all educated in this room, right? Mm-hmm. We all have our degrees and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. At any point when I was in college. They teach you and guide you on your appearance, especially when you want when you're in a professional realm. At what point did they tell her that that was not a good look? No, they didn't. That's why she. That's like, but why she, not though? She went to the law school from Everest College. Crazy. That's why. Yeah. They didn't have enough advice. Because they teach you, they teach you how to dress. They teach, they they prepare you for interviews and stuff like that. So at some point, let's just say obviously the tattoos are not real they're they're henna but at some point when she came in with the one eye that bro got her tongue split yeah but you can't see the tongue inside the mouth when she's talking excuse me your honor (laughs) i would like you can't see the tongue inside the mouth (laughs) or you can't see this johnson inside the mouth (laughs) i want to know (laughs) <laughs> this show off the dark, 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 dark. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, I, I ain't gonna get nasty no more. I'm sorry. Yeah, right. Yes, he do. He always do. <laughs> so look, the last comment says, it's bad when your kids are smarter than the parents. Right. Ain't that what you just said? Right. Ain't that what you just said? Right. That's what I'm saying. Her dad, her grandma, her aunt, her aunt somebody. Check on that child, please. Please. Look, let me tell you something. If I was, if I was a father, I'd be like this. Yeah, I got he you. He probably don't have much sense custody. either. Custody. I see you in court. I'm pretty sure that's not her first time making a bad decision. It definitely. I'm pretty sure it's not. Well, yeah. yeah I'm pretty first sure. of all, let's <laughs> let, let's 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 pull it back a little bit. Let's forget about the eyeballs. What lawyer gonna she come in there tongue. with tattoos all on your face? No, she got no, the tongue. No, that's what I was saying. The because... tongue, bro. Do you forget about the no. tongue? She got a tattoo right here, like she like she uh, no. did a drive by in no, South Central. No, but CJ, that's what I was saying. The tattoos weren't real because when she showed her face towards the end of the video, when her face was all swollen, she didn't have the tattoos. She on had her the face. one here. The one here was there. This one up here was wasn't. It was the one that was on that cheek. That one was there. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, you can always wash that. If it's henna, well, you can always wash it all. Yeah, well, no, henna, you, can, you can't wash all because I get You can't wash all? No, because I get henna all the time. Like with henna, and I'll come in one day and I'll show y'all. When you get the henna, it just goes away over time. Like my henna oh, really? lasts like two, two, three weeks. Yep. Oh, really, really nice, yeah. Hey. You ever try some of that natural lotion to wash it all? <laughs> Really? I'm sitting here thinking, what the hell is natural, natural lotion? lotion? Come on, CJ. Come on, oh, CJ. Oh, ski, ski, goddamn. Oh, ski, ski. Get your ass to talk. Listen, we need you to. I can't even get it. We need you to drop a comment. Tell us what you think, goddamn it. Yeah, would you let her be your lawyer? Let us know. Yeah, I mean, let yeah, us she can know. She could be my lawyer. I'll let her be my lawyer. Yep, I'll give it. Hey, she, boy, you let her be your lawyer. You going to <laughs> your, jail? Your, your, your bank account's about to be at zero. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean this your podcast, man. This join. So we go to uh, like, uh, comment, 
and and, and what? thank you for all the subscribers. Uh, yeah, yeah, shout out yeah. to all our new subscribers, man. Oh, for sure. And listen, at the end of the show, we got a great treat for y'all subscribers, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> oh, are we doing video? Can we go to video number two? Number yes. So, number video, what we got? For video number two. Video number two. Video number two. See, he ain't okay, ready. Being set up. I, I'm Don't just I making sure. Week, don't I'm I making sure. Every, don't I say this every week? He what? Don't be, he don't be ready. Why don't he get be ready, ready? Be ready so you don't have to get ready. Don't y'all think he tired of me saying it? Do, look, y'all tell me. Do y'all think Los is tired of me saying it? Can you stop putting our, our business on? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. I say it to myself all the time. I be in the mirror, man. Be ready so you don't have to get ready. <laughs> I hope y'all know what that means. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I See, was waiting. I was if, you, if, you gotta give, if you got to give yourself that pep talk, then no, you ain't ready. Like, uh, you, do you know what a stranger is? Hmm. You ever give yourself a stranger? <laughs> I'm talking to you, woman. Who the hell are you talking to like that? Do <laughs> um, you know what a stranger is? What? What is a stranger? You know what a stranger is? What? That's when you sit on your hands to get numb. And masturbate. Wow. Give yourself a stranger. <laughs> I have toys for that. Get, whoa. Oh, shit. <laughs> this your, <laughs> your So <laughs> Patreon is coming way sooner than I thought. <laughs> and then, <laughs> it's and then, I know it's hot outside, but damn. <laughs> it's hotter in here. <laughs> and then when I don't and then when the toys don't suffice, then I got the real thing. Wait, so, right. Is this only <laughs> fans or is this a YouTube? <laughs> I'm confused. I think I came well, in the wrong. I think I came in the wrong studio. <laughs> Boy, Tina burned the treads off that motherfucker. <laughs> Damn. I need something close to the real thing, and my fingers just don't do it. Oh, oh my! Shit. It was great knowing y'all tonight. <laughs> Monetization to If y'all don't canceled. see this episode next Tuesday, <laughs> you'll know why. <laughs> Monetization is canceled. <laughs> Especially for tonight. Wow. All right, All right man, we're going to video number video two. Video number two. <laughs> no, video number two. See, you shouldn't have asked me the question. Video number two. <laughs> be quiet, woman. You want me to be quiet for the rest of the night? <laughs> video he number two. He put me on punishment. <laughs> What you been doing? We got some drinks or something? <laughs> okay. All right, we have video number two. Here's why you should never plot to murder your husband. Damn. <laughs> and then we go right we to go murder. We go straight to murder. We were- <laughs> it's Bistro Podcast. Aww. Let's go. Hello. How are you doing? I'm fine. No. No. You're under arrest. No, please. You're under arrest. No, please don't. You're under arrest. No. No, no, no. Yep. No, please don't. Stand up. No. Stand up. You have two options. No, you no. Go, please, nice, no, please you don't. Get, no. You're under arrest. Okay? No. Stand up. My ex-husband called you guys. Please you don't. Have you have a warrant. Simple as that. Put your hands behind your back. Please don't. Put your hands behind your back. No, please. Let, Put no, your hands please, behind your back. I will. Please, can we talk? Please, can please we talk? No. Wait. Turn my stuff off. Take it. Take oh, it my breath. God. No. Please don't. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Please. Please don't. Stand up. Oh, my God. Please don't. You tried no. to you tried to shut the door in my face. Don't say you no. want to talk. No, I, I, no, please, you guys, Come please on. don't, please don't, my daughter and my my husband. Oh my god, please don't, please don't, please don't, please don't. Oh my god, please don't. Oh, please don't. Oh my god, I just I was so angry at him. Please don't. Oh, please don't do this. Please don't. Do you have anything in your pockets? No. Okay. Let's get your glasses on. Put them back on for you. What do you want shut off in here? Lights. Where are your keys at? I'm sorry. Where are your keys at? Listen. Where are your keys at? It's locked. Do you have any keys to get back in? Nothing. Let's go. You gotta walk on your own though. We know you can walk. Come on. Let's go. Thanks, guys. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. A few hours before this, body cam footage shows how this all started. The suspect's ex-husband, Dave, comes to the police station with some shocking news.
just coming in to, to tell you about a threat that came today on the phone okay. from my ex-wife. She's going to kill me. Okay. Was that over text? Voice. Voicemail. Okay. From her phone number? Okay. I have a block. She has a court date coming. Criminal? Um, it's mostly, um, I believe, vehicle DUIs, but it's okay. bail jumping. And is she, like, is it more ambiguous, or is it direct, I'm going to take a gun and shoot you and kill you? Well, you can listen to it. She says, and he'll be dead before I go to the trial. You can come to my trial and tell them. In Wisconsin, um, there's a statute for unlawful use of a telephone. So anyone who uses a telephone to threaten, harass, and make someone reason to believe that they're going to cause them harm or death, that's a misdemeanor. So we can charge that. If she has open cases, those open cases that she has bond on would be another bail jumping charge. Because she's not to commit more crimes while she's out on bond for another crime. There's also tickets we can issue. If you just want her cited, I can mail her a ticket for unlawful use. I want to take care of it. And they're adults, yeah. Charging her isn't going to... Wow. Damn, Dave. That's crazy. Dave said I can finally get some sleep. God damn. These women out here is just, why don't y'all just, y'all need to let go and heal. Like, it's not even worth it. Susan said, yeah. I chose violence this morning. <laughs> I'm going to get Dave out of here. <laughs> yeah, but, Messed up my life. Yeah, right. She sounded like buddy. she messed up her own damn life. She but, was drinking. Listen, she got all these DUIs. Listen, she obviously was on something when they went to go pick her up. Listen. Tell Dave I'm sorry. I love, I love white people. You know why? Uh, because they are some of the bravest, bravest species on earth. That cop knocked on the door, <laughs> said hello. She's trying to, to shut the door. The, door. the no, cop said, said no. no. She said no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Who tells the cops? She said no. He said no. She said no. <laughs> she just kept saying no like she was the cop. No, 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 no. She gonna say, why are you here? My ex-husband? So she knew the whole time she, yeah, what he was there knew. for. She knew exactly what she did. She knew. She out of control. Like, <laughs> But then I don't know if y'all heard audience. I don't know if y'all heard. She was in there crying. Oh, they like. And what then you, she straightened like, up real quick. What do you want me to turn on? She like uh, lights. Oh, the lights. Yeah, she make sure the lights are off. She's so fake. <laughs> and as soon as the lights, as soon as she turned the lights off, she said, "Oh no, the door. You could just shut it. It, shut, it locks on its own." Right. <laughs> <laughs> like she, she's got to chill Susan, Susan help me Susan, like, They ain't even doing nothing to you Susan you are going to jail <laughs> Jail going jail. To jail She's going to jail jail Yes She, she ain't coming out Look, And you, uh, you want to worry, be worried about your electric bill What? I'm I'm curious I want to know I swear I want to know And you know what I will upload the second part of that video In the description Because I want to know exactly what happened I want to know, did she do time? Dave, you know what I mean? Or did she get here. out? I want to know. You fat slob. I'm know, getting you out of I here. This is going to be it for you, Dave. She probably was on that answer machine Dave. going ham. Yeah, she <laughs> she had to be. She had, so look, so the first comment, first comment says, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> 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 no, like, uh, no, Chucky. <laughs> no, oh, no, she, no, 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 <laughs> no. She was, uh, yo, she's out of control. Yeah, and listen, let me tell you something. If she was smart, she should never open the door. <laughs> she should just peep out that motherfucking pretend, yeah. and pretend she wasn't. They would have got her either way, no matter what. As long as he made that complaint, they was going to get her. Yeah, but at least she had time Alicia, to escape. At least she had time escape to escape. Escape to where? Somewhere. Uh, she up in Canada door. or something. <laughs> she yeah. obviously ain't had no money. She had court dates coming up. She said that, but she was bail jumping. Maybe she was bail jumping. Yeah. She was saving her money to go to Canada. She, yeah. See, that's how why she's I, saving money if she's drinking it. She was obviously. Hey, we don't know, we don't know her finances. She might be paid. Hey, hey yeah. she could be. She that was a nice little house though. Yeah, yeah nice but see, that's why you don't make no threats unless you got money. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Was tripping. Yeah, see, my mama threatened somebody. I'm gonna have some money in the bank. I'm gonna have I some I ain't threatening nobody. You know what? I'm gonna just let you live and you do you. I'm I'm good. I'm moving Susan's on. Going T here. T you ain't never threatened nobody. A long time ago. But I let me knew you let was me, a gangster. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> Shout, out Jim, Shout out to Jim Shout out to Jim Carrey. Let me tell you something. Ah, no, but you know what? That threat was worth it because I don't bother nobody. And when I say what I what I say, I mean it. It ain't a threat. It's a promise. Oh shit. Okay, so you just Gangsta. you just um admitted to attempted murder. Okay, cool. No, not at all. Warning. 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 
Bullshitter alert. Bullshitter alert. Warning. I'm going to take over those controls next week. I'm definitely going to take over those controls. She's going to be on the board next week, y'all. I'm going to be touching every button. I'm going to be, ooh. No, not that uh, one. Uh, so let's go to comment number two. So we got comment number two says, somewhere Dave is finally able to sleep. Dave, Ain't that what I said? Listen, soon as they called Dave and said, Dave, we have Susan in, in custody. Dave called his job and said, hey, listen, I'm, I'm not going to be in tomorrow. Dave slept all day. I'm sleeping right. all day, God damn it. Dave said, I'm cool. All day long. <laughs> Dave was like, uh-uh, y'all finally got her. Yeah, I'm going to take this day off. I, I need a self-care day. Yeah, <laughs> You were stressing. Well, what do you say? I, I need a mental health day. Yes. Mental health day. I need a mental health day. Perfect. Yeah, but hey, you listen, Dave, man, I'm fucking with these crazy-ass women, man. Yeah, but you know what? A lot of times, them guys, they you know that these chicks is crazy from the beginning. Ain't that, ain't that what we said last week? They crazy from the beginning, but y'all stay with them. He ain't know that. Well, he, thought on, Susan yes was, well, he thought she was a good homemaker. Yeah, right. Well, in Dave's defense, the crazy ones do got some good Gucci. Ooh. I'm going to tell you, them crazy ones got the good Ooh. Gucci. So Whoa. you're going you're gonna to pay at some point, basically, is what you're saying. So don't complain. Yeah. When you, she get yeah. crazy, you try to get... kill you and all that other stuff. And if she ain't trying to kill up, you, she don't really love you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I mean, listen, really? you want to pay in the front end, you want to pay in the back end. Yeah, you know I mean, but you're going to pay. You're going to pay. <laughs> Either way. Yeah. Okay. So, comment number three. Comment number say, why aren't the cops listening? She said, please don't. <laughs> what? Please don't. Okay. You know what? I'm a different color. I'm darker than her. Let me say, please don't. They won't even give me the chance. Yeah, that you you ain't got that privilege. Nah, yeah. You don't have the complexion for protection. So. Yeah, I don't yeah. even want to hear that. So... You know, she saw him. No, no. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she knew. Exactly. Yeah, please she knew. don't. Please don't. Knew. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they would have been like, uh, what was it? Miss, uh, who was that lady? Miss Perks. And oh. on a different time. Remember, she kept saying oh. no. <laughs> oh, the lady in jail. <laughs> the lady yeah. The jail. She a like, couple so? episodes ago. She's like, so? Yeah. She's and? like, you can't go back to the house. You can't and? tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> That's my house. <laughs> hey, listen, let me tell you something. See, we, just like CJ said, we ain't got to the. Complexion for protection. No, sir. Uh, Cop come at my door. I'm automatically. God, I got my hands out. Hey, like, sir, well, shit. I, I'm just here for your neighbor. But so why, why don't <laughs> you I might just, as well take you too? Why don't you just follow the same advice you was just trying to give him? Why do you? Why even open the door? There you go. There you go. That's why they made peepholes. Look exactly. And then you got to tiptoe yeah. around the house. Just yeah. don't be having Using no peephole, hold bitches. up. Hold up. <laughs> just don't be having no 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 floors that creep. You know like them, yeah, exactly. Part of me, they still can't come in without right. a, without without. Well, you know they did have an arrest warrant. They still can't come in, but they still can't come in. Um, but oh, until, once you open go. that door, then oh, then it's, it's yeah, okay, you. okay, okay. All right. Anyway, anywho, anywho. So, are we doing video number three? Number three. Let's go. I just had flashbacks. I'm sorry. Uh, whoa! What kind of flashback <laughs> do you had? You busted Was somebody's it? door? Yeah. No. Not or did somebody bust in your door? Whoa. <laughs> Look, I might need somebody to bust in Whoa. Door. Oh, shit. <laughs> we got a bunch of double entendres going on here. <laughs> Where, is this the only fan no. studio? I think I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> she is talking nasty. You know what? CJ be trying to act like he is such an I'm angel. I'm delivered. He is not, I told you that. He is a liar. I'm delivered. He is not. Boy, she double dribbled that entendre like a motherfucker, didn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, are, are, are you finished over there? I'm ready. Spicy yeah. habanero. That's not, that name coming back. <laughs> Don't leave no goddamn wet spot over there, goddamn it. Wow. Hey, if, if there's no wet spot, then, you know, what's the Shit. Uh, Video what's the number three. Because yeah, I take a nap on that couch sometime. <laughs> <laughs> video number three. Hey, no, we have video number three. <laughs> See, no. Come on, T. Hit it you with didn't do one tea. or two. I was waiting. Spanish T. Come on, T. Video number one. He, he said, "Roll up with the little tongue." Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Dig it on time, again. <laughs> Dig it on time. <laughs> you should have made your own shirt that say "Leave Fans." This is out of control tonight. <laughs> She gonna fuck around. We gonna have some white man in Minnesota and shit over there talking about eat this joy. Oh man, man. this joy. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> yeah, oh I like it. I like watching this joy. <laughs> We don't work from an entertainment podcast to an adult podcast. <laughs> Just that fast. Number three. 
Number three. Damn. That's what it is. Number three. All right. Number three, man. It's number CJ's three. fault. He's he's the one that told me to to roll the tongue. So I didn't say like fault. that. That's not <laughs> what I meant. Think of the entendre again, y'all. <laughs> you can say tres without your tongue even coming out. You say tres. You don't even see my tongue on the camera. Now what you did? I don't know what level of Spanish that is. Yeah, talking about video number three. <laughs> Video number three. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs> All right, y'all. So video number three. So hey, look, look. Now, last week, y'all, we came down on us, the single mothers. So now we going we going we we, we going to root for the single mothers. So get them the, the props. single mothers. We going to give y'all y'all props tonight, right now. So we got video number three. We have how do you maintain a healthy relationship with your grown kids who blame you for not giving them enough? Mm. So let's hear what Ricky Smiley has to say. Okay. Them kids. Ooh. You know, that's my motto right there. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, man. It's this strong podcast. Aww. Let's go. Don't let these grown ass kids and kids that you tried to help and tried to raise and tried to do for make you feel guilty for doing the best that you can. They can go to hell. All your parents with uh, entitled kids. Shout out all the parents this morning that had, that did their very best. Make sure that your kids have everything they need. Um, from toiletries to clothes, sports, and back and forth to basketball practice, football practice, trying to get dinner, trying to wash, fold clothes, and then got braces for, and then worked and scrapped, and worked all night, and worked extra jobs to do what you can for your kids, only for them to grow up and, and turn out the way some of them some of them have turned out, making the decisions that they make, and you try to teach them the right way to do, to do things. Only for your kids you make sacrifices for to grow up to hear you that you weren't there for me and and you didn't do enough stuff for me and you didn't do this and you didn't do that. Some of them just choose bad. Some of them choose to smoke weed. Some of them choose to drink. Some of them choose to go left when you say go right just because they want to do something different and they want to do what they want to do. I want to free you today and let you know that you are awesome and if don't nobody appreciate you and know the struggle I do and I understand and I just want to give you some empower you today to not feel guilty about having to work I don't care what these damn kids say no matter what your situation is with your kids or whatever they start feeling that way and getting older or somebody get in their head and start talking them against you that you did everything you could do to be the best parent you can be and we're not talking about perfect because it ain't no perfect parent and i know i'm not perfect i just want you to, to to feel confident and go to bed and you don't owe these kids nothing right let the church say amen let, 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 me tell, let me tell you this before i kick this off to y'all true story hand to god when i grad when i graduated high school at my graduation my mom said let me let me see your key and I was like, what? all right, I can give my and she took my keys off that fucking key ring and shit. 18 years old, that's when I had to leave the motherfucking house. Oh, Damn. Wow. And then oh, my mom ain't fucking play. Now No notice now, at all whatsoever. Uh, no, let me tell you something. I grew up <clears throat> I grew up without a father, but I had a village. I had a football coach, I had a baseball mm -hmm. coach, I had my uncles, I had my grandfather. When I got arrested for doing dumb shit when I was young, I called my grandmother. Hoping that she would bail me out. I mean, I was in Delaware County Prison. Mm. Hoping that she would get me out. You know what she said to me? What she said? What did you do? And I told her. I told her what happened. And she said, "Well, baby, don't drop the soap." Oh shit! I sh hand to God. She's like, "Oh well." Hand to God. She said, "That's on you." Sometimes you them, them kids, kids gotta learn. You got, yes, they got, yeah, they to, got learn. to learn. It's like you can't kids. keep feeling sorry for these kids. It's like you do what you can, and at the end of the day, they're gonna do what they want. At the end of it's like they will mm -hmm. put you into an early grave, stressing you the hell out. Mm, yes, listen, Bernie Mac. Shout out to the OG, rest in peace, Bernie Mac. He said it on the Kings of Comedy. I ain't gonna let these kids kill me. Right. I ain't gonna let these kids kill me. <laughs> so again, I got ten. I got two eight-year-olds. Guess what? They yesterday I got in the house at six o'clock. Between cooking and this and that, I ain't get done that till nine o'clock. I ain't get to do nothing for myself. Mm -hmm. So I wish one of my sons would grow up and be a rapper 
and talk about he he grew up in a struggle. Mm. I'm gonna whoop his ass. <laughs> well, you know, Damn. What? First of all, as much as much as I had to put into raising y'all, paying for football four hundred dollars, camp fifteen hundred dollars, shoes, this uh, uh, vacation. You know how much a vacation is with three kids? Mm, expensive. You know how much it is. You know how much it is. You know how much vacation is for four kids. So it's like at the yeah, end of the I, day, I more. Four. I'm sacrificing. You know what I could be spending that money on? Man. I could be at the strip clubs. Okay. Look. <laughs> okay. That's why my youngest just turned 18 a couple months ago and Stella's getting her groove oh, back. Oh, look at her. Look at oh, <laughs> Mrs. Nasty time. No, it's Mrs. Honey Dip <laughs> Tea. Okay. okay. Honey Can we stay on course, tea. please? Yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. But Dang. again, these kids, like at the end of the day, if you really, and this is for the parents that really put in the work, you at the football games, you at the practices, you, you know, you, you stretching yourself as thin as possible and you really putting in the work at the end of the day. Yes. Give yourself a pat on the back. Do not let these kids stress you out. If you're doing the best you can, let them make the decision. Some will listen. They'll see. All right, my mom, my dad telling me this. I'm I'm a follow it. But if you ain't if you ain't following, if they just want to do their own thing, like Ricky Smiley said, let them. Cause my grandma used to say one thing that still lives on today: a hard head. Oh, make a soft make a ass. Soft ass. Right. And they will find out. Us, we it took us a little longer because guess what? We didn't have social media. We right. didn't have access yeah. to everything. Yep. With right. them, it yep. happens quickly. Right. Because you'll see that, oh, I tried this, it didn't work. Well, I'm doing this. Yeah. You tried it and cause you didn't listen. And now you fell on your ass. Right. As your parent, I will be here to help you up. <laughs> I'm not going to coddle you. You're gonna fix your own wounds. So if your ass is scraped up, that's on you to fix. I'll help you up. But I ain't going to, uh-uh, I don't do, yeah, I don't got do some entitlement. comments in here. So we got Jaleel. He's saying he a thousand percent agree with Ricky. He said it's either never enough or some say it's just too much. Mm-hmm. And then you get T.Y. Yep. She said, tell them they have the opportunity to now figure it out. Look, my, my now grown kids, they would tell you that is my line. Figure it out. That's all I <laughs> yeah. say. I literally say, figure it out. I don't say nothing else. Figure it out. I mean, we, you know, now. Like, because my thing is like, yeah, to a certain extent, yeah, I'll still help you. I'm still going to be that, you know, nurturing mother. Yeah. But when I get to the point where I'm helping you and you still want to do what you want. And then I told you, OK, do this. And then you still do the opposite. And then now you want to come back to me when shit hit the fan. But I already told you what to do the first time. But you did yeah. the opposite. So now you want me to fix it. No, I'm not going to fix it. Now you figure it out. Literally, that is my line. Figure I mean, it out. I mean, the, the key is, is. You don't. You don't want to be the enabler. You want to help them because right. I, I mean, as a that's parent, why I said I'm gonna pick you up. Yeah, you don't. You oh, I gotta help my kid, but you don't want to be up. the enabler. But I ain't doing it for you. Again, like she said, if I gave you some guidance or some advice, uh, I always use the Jay Z line. Hove did that, so hopefully you don't have to go through that. That's what he mm-hmm. said in the song. So I'm telling you, I'm not telling you this for my health. I'm telling you because I either went through it. Or I, ex- I experienced it from somebody around me. Yeah, but so you I'm know, trying to people, keep you from but not. Just go- like us, we all got to live and learn. So, you and, know. And that's but why. But you I got guess some what? people that's a little bit more hard headed than others. Hey, hey, put your helmet on. If you hard headed, put your helmet on. Because you <laughs> well, punked that head. Shit out. You don't want to get a concussion. <laughs> Figure so, it out. So, so, comment number one it says, I will cut anyone off. Who jeopardized my peace? Mm. No exception. Come on now. S- S- preach, preach, right preacher. There. Yeah, that's, that's me. That's a super preach that right there. Let me right there. I, that is that's me. a super preach right there, boy. Yeah, but you know what the thing is? <clears throat> you got some people that say it. But then don't do it. But don't do it. Shh. <laughs> I know several people that are like, oh, yeah, my, I'm going to protect my peace and I'm going to cut. Yeah, right. You still talking to the same person that's been putting you through BS for the past two years. Not me. <laughs> like, I know me. Like, I get to a certain point. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. But then I'm going to just get to a point where it's like, all right, you know what? Now it's time for me to just, like, back off a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Because I, I get to a point because I'm the type of person I'm going to help you. But then now you draining me. Like, and I'm not going to have somebody drain me, especially when I have my own, you know, p- progress that I'm working on. So you're not going to prohibit me from establishing my goals so you know what you go ahead do what you doing let me work on me but you know I, I'm, I'm i'm going to say this before we go to the next comment i'm gonna say this my issue with a lot of these 
I don't want to say new parents now is we are raising our sons like we're raising our daughters. We're raising them to wear slippers and fucking oh hair nets. Oh my god! Oh my fucking, god! Fucking excuse my language. I keep cursing. Oh, we, bonnets. Hair nets, bonnets. I mean, come oh, on now. You don't. You don't. You don't, you don't raise a man. You don't. You don't raise a boy like that. It's sickening. And I've always said. No, not to the women. A woman cannot raise a boy to be a fucking man. Again, that ain't happening. Again, what the women women are more of the nurturers. Yeah. In order to be a nurturer, what do you have to have? You have to have emotion. You have to have empathy, passion, those things. But you cannot nurture. give those traits to a so, to a young man. Again, if you if you have that quality, you, you have emotion. The one thing that we know that affects decision making in everybody is emotion. When you are emotional, you do not normally you do not make good decisions. You don't make good decisions. Right. So at the end of the day, that's why it's, you. Ha I tell my sons all the time on a football field, on a soccer field, or whatever. Hey, listen, you emotional. That's not going to help you go and score a goal or or, or make the next play. You got to compartmentalize that emotion and get back to focusing. You can be emotional afterwards, but while you mm -hmm. in that moment, you can't be. And so. I don't think that a lot of people are having those conversations with their sons or even their daughters. Because no. even the, the girls now are way emotional where they just start wilding. They want to fight, you know what? beat you up. Like, you know just, what? You know what? The reason crazy. why, and, and I've seen this, and also at the same time, you also got to remember a lot of these parents, and not to say because I was a young parent, but everybody wasn't raised the same. A lot of these parents that I come across, they're too much trying to be their kids' friends instead Ooh, of their parents. There it is right there. You oh, gotta there it is be right the there. parent. There it is right there. Listen, yeah, right my mom said, there it is. When, 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 when my sister was young, my sister, she, she'll be 45 next month. So when she was young, my mom said to my sister, she's like, okay, let's play. My sister said, okay, come on. Yeah, we can play. My mom said, well, what you want to play? My sister said, I'm going to be the mom. You be the daughter. My mom said, no. <laughs> it ain't she said, we ain't not, she said, we're not even, we never going to play that. I'm always going to be your mom. She said, I'm never going to be your friend. She said, I'm, no. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I'm going to be friendly with you. I'm always going to be friendly, but I'll never be your friend because I don't want you to get it misconstrued. Right. We're never going to be on that level. So even when you old enough to drink or you old enough to go out or even have adult conversation, mm -hmm. it's still a level yes. you can't go past. Nah. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes, a lot yes. of people don't understand that. They want to make, the, again, like you said, make the kids their friends. They dress them up like the boyfriends that they don't have. They dress them up like the, the, the girlfriends that they don't have. And it's also like, about respect. Yeah. Respect yeah. is a big factor, too. Like, come on now. You know what? Like, yes, I understand. Like, like me. Perfect example. My kids are older. I have kids that are in their 20s, pushing their 30s, right? So, yeah, they'll have conversations and, you know, yeah, we'll play around, but also at the same time don't disrespect me don't sit there and have no conversation cursing and doing all this other stuff. hold up watch your mouth uh, you know mouth. you know it's funny my son i mean we be talking because my family is real close we we are very close i mean we hug kiss on the cheek but won't and me and my son we be talking and he'd be like shit dad and then he look at me I look at him. Right. I, yeah, I know that word <laughs> slipped out of your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> and, right. Unless you want this, and, and if you want this body shot to slip out my right arm, you might want to get yeah, it together. Hey, you better watch your mouth. Right. God damn it. Facts. <laughs> right. So, so what we on? What we on? Comment number two. Two. So comment number two says, "Thank you for speaking to my broken heart." Yeah. No. And that comes from a woman. Mm, no. The kids ain't never going to break my heart because I put in too no, much No, 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 no. She was saying no. thank you for speaking to her broken heart. No, that's what I'm saying. Her oh, heart okay, is broken okay. because yeah. them kids, they didn't mess her up. Them kids ain't doing that to me. Uh-uh. I'll uh, Listen. We, if you want, if you want to fight, we can fight. Because, but look, <laughs> no, because I ain't even putting all that energy into it. You know what? You go do you. I'm doing me. I ain't fighting nobody. That's 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 the, the vibe you want. Okay, I'm, I'm doing me. Because at the end out. of the day, I am established. You're trying to get yourself together, and at the end of the day, you gonna need me before I need you. You hear that? Hmm. Y'all hear that? Sometimes she said. She wanna... said. Yeah, you gonna need me before I need yep. you. Y'all kids better get it together now. Shit. God damn it. Mama T ain't playing that shit, y'all. Honey dip tea. Yeah, Mama Honey Dip. <laughs> spicy hot habanero. <laughs> ain't playing that. <enough. laughs> so the last comment says, my 20-year-old told me she's grown. Let her make her own decisions. Y'all yep. still can't play 
Well, no, she said y'all si- y'all still can't yes. pay her damn phone bill. So that's nope. what, so listen. I she grown, but she can't pay her phone but, bill. But this is what I be saying. And you ain't grown. I be saying that at the end of the day, y'all want the grown up benefits. But most most younger kids, yeah, the the, the uh, young adults, they want the grown up benefits, but they don't want the grown up responsibilities. responsibilities. Right, they don't work like that. Right, you can't you go out have, and want to drink can't. and have fun and turn up, be lit, but then you don't want to pay this phone bill. Because guess what? When August first come, and you like, yeah, let me call to uh, Terquavion, see if he's gonna pick me up. <laughs> The baby on and that phone boy stay in trouble, don't he? And that phone go place. And listen, that phone go do do do. Why well, my phone not working? Remember, you was grown, right? Right. <laughs> Pay that grown phone bill, all right? Right. <laughs> I can give you this Obama right here if you just need to contact somebody. But no, we ain't doing that. <laughs> we not doing <laughs> it. Oh my God, boy, these videos remind me of my fucking stories, man. I know my mom, my mom had co-signed a car for me, man, when I was a kid. Shit, I ain't and I remember shit. And and I was two months late on paying my phone bill. Ooh. Yo, it wasn't the bank that came to repossess that shit. Mm. It was your mama. My mama. <laughs> she had a yellow <laughs> vest on and everything. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> you are behind on these a payments, sir. Here's a motherfucking Antoinette Tony came knocking on the door. Yeah, um, you two months later on your bill. I'm going to need those keys. Yeah. Right. <laughs> And I'm standing in the door talking about, come on, ma. Come and on. if you don't give me those keys, I'm going to report this car stolen. Oh, God. <laughs> well, my mom came, boy. She was a repo. Shout out to mom. Oh, my God. Shout out to mom. Big shout out to mama. Dude. I now, ain't going to in the house, boy. I am not putting my name on nobody's car. I've done that before. Not doing it again. Hold on, I'm not whoa, doing it for my whoa, whoa, whoa. kids. Did you put it on your kids' name or you put no. it on a, a man a, that a you was dude. messing with? Oh, for yeah. real? Mm-hmm. He, that man didn't go put it on you like that. Well, no, it was Dropping a couple people, that. so it wasn't. Whoa. Whoa. It wasn't like whoa. that. Whoa. That, that. Flag on the play. <laughs> flag on the play. Flag on the play. Honey, oh. dip. They was dipping in that sauce. What? Hey, and there's plenty of it. Oh, oh. Okay, uh, video number four. Video number flag on the play, y'all. Before we get too deep into this. Yeah. Hey, See. don't come at me if you if you can't. You're right. You can't. I, I apologize. Uh-huh. Uh, I hold on, wait a minute. I'm ready for that comment. She said, don't come at her or don't oh, come on <laughs> Y'all catching them all tonight. <laughs> No, no strays in the building. This is a double entendre night. Yeah, y'all don't you play now. You said don't come on her like that. Yo, they catching them all. We we gotta change studios. Yo, my stomach hurt. This is the only fan studio tonight. Damn. Oh, oh man, boy, this your podcast. This your. Just make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. Like, and thanks comment. for all the new subscribers. Shout out to everybody commenting yeah, in the chat. Man. We appreciate yeah, it. Damn. Yeah. So what, are we are we doing video number? Oh. Hey, we only on four. Gosh. <laughs> because shit, girl, you you got me all flustered over here on the mic. I don't know why. Yeah, dang, I'm sweating, boy. <laughs> it's probably those lights that you got on you. They probably a little too hot. Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. it's hot. All right. It's dang. getting hot in here. So, so take, take off all your oh, okay. number have. four. <laughs> <laughs> so we have video number four. We have so let me oh let me try get it get it ready so oh I don't have to get gosh. ready. Gosh, here we go. Video number four. T I'm actually, have you ever heard of Dine and Dash? Yes. Have you ever heard of a dash and crash? Oh gosh, what done happened? I'm about to play it for you right oh, now. Oh Lord, play it for you right now. It's this jump podcast. Oh, let's go. Thank you so much. I appreciate it for real. I cannot go to jail. I can't. I can't. I won't, I won't last there. You know? How the fuck that happened? I won't last there. Yeah, I'm going to help you out the car. Thank you. I won't last in jail. I can't. You, you, you better run and leave the car. I want to say that right now. Come on. Run leave the car. Come on. Fuck the key. Fuck the key. Come on. Fuck the key. Come on. Leave the car. You got your wallet. All right. 
Leave that car. Come on. Come on. Come on. Leave that car there. For real. Come on. Come by inside you for me. Come on. 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 Come Hey, man, you want to ride with me? I got my own way. Yeah, yeah, bad, bad. Can you, can you take me out of here, please? Get you out of here? Yeah, yeah. I cannot. Be, I can't. I can't get charged for that. Come on. We won't get charged for that. Come on. I gotta go. I gotta go. You gotta win. Yeah, but damn. Quickly, quickly. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I know. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Hello. Yeah, I just crashed. I got. I gotta call you later. I gotta go. Bye. She's uh, so dumb. Oh wait, wait, wait a minute. Did I, you? I gotta, did y'all peep the boy that walked up? The boy walked up. He was like, "Yeah, let me, uh, <laughs> let me. Uh, you need some help over there." <laughs> he ain't trying to grind on that. Do, how you do that? You trying to yeah, grind on that snow bunny? Yeah, he wanted that Man. snow bunny love right there, boy. She had to been high or drunk. But then again, like, how the hell are you saying I can't go to jail, but you answering your phone saying I just crashed? Hold on. She but went wait a through the bus stop. The car got to be Popeyes. registered. The car got to be registered in her name. So what makes her it think that she probably ain't her name. Okay. <laughs> you don't think so? That's why she got out of there. She probably, yes. you know, little sugar daddy situation. She's a little, uh, what is it? Uh, what's the lady? What the ladies like to go to? The uh, brunch? You know, yeah. uh, bottomless mimosa brunches. Yeah. Oh, she all, all those mimosas. Brunch. It, was, it was daytime, so probably she was at the the bottomless mimosa brunch, at bottomless mimosas, mm. and then got behind that wheel and went then went through a bus caddy <laughs> into Popeyes, <laughs> and now she gotta get up out of there. Man, now we can't go get no chicken. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Like, this, this bitch and crash at the yeah, motherfucker. I can't get Popeyes. me no crispy chicken. She's not goddamn. Well, that's the only Popeyes in the neighborhood. <laughs> she couldn't crash in a White Castle. Yeah. Damn. Hey. <laughs> Crazy oh ass white right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so look, so look, she was all stumbling. Yeah, she definitely was. She was she on was something. Cooked. She was definitely impaired, some well, kind of way. The shit where the boys at? What happened? What happened? What happened? He was like, first of all, he was like, yeah, I'll take you. But then he was like, no, you ain't going with me. Like what? Make up your mind. El Boogie said, what the what the fuck? He said <laughs> she looked like she was tricking. Man. El Boogie, I didn't even put that. that you are on to something. She did have the trick. Outfit. Yes, she so did she might have been out there on the boulevard tricking. Oh, I didn't think about that. That's a good. That's a good uh, yeah. observation. Yeah. <laughs> good man. She could have been man. from the yeah. club. You know how they be having. That like was broad daylight. Yeah, <laughs> it was no. two o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> ain't no club. She come pop, from. Them, pop, them, uh, Popeyes ain't open that early. Yeah. So look. So the first comment says <laughs> she better hawk. <laughs> <laughs> Hot <laughs> on that, yo. Spit on that thing. Yeah, listen, you want me to get you out this jam? Uh, you better, well, bam, bam. <laughs> you want to get out of this jam? You better spit oh, on this gosh. Sam. <laughs> Talk to I mean, that's your own podcast, boy. God damn. Yo. Man, I see I got y'all the wrong shirts. Oh, yes, you did. Where my shirt at? Where my shirt at? Got it's going. I'm throwing it away. No, it ain't, man. Flag on the plate. I'm wearing this everywhere. Flag on the plate. <laughs> yeah, I mean. Only place Yo, hold on, hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, God damn it! Only place I'm not wearing this to my kids' school, other than y'all see it right there. Y'all see it right pull. there. You see it. <laughs> if she don't talk to her, I don't want to talk to her. I want to talk to her. <laughs> All right, look. So, second comment. Second comment says, "Oh hell no, nah. <laughs> shit." You hip our Popeyes. Right? <laughs> right. right. We don't care about your ass or that car. Or that car. I need to get my 12 piece. <laughs> Look, in that biscuit. Yeah, hey, shit, bitch, you, you got a goddamn white woman that crashed on fucking Popeyes. That's what I'm saying. You couldn't have crashed in the 7-Eleven or Arby's or something. Come on. Not the Popeyes. Yeah. I'm 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 curious. I, she had to be hydrant. She went she through was, the bus. Yeah. She went through the bus stop. Caddy, the caddy, the bus yeah. caddy. Is that what called? Yeah. And then through the Popeyes. Yeah. But she, she was, was stumbling. Flying. Yeah, but she was stumbling when she was walking too, though. And and you could tell by her, her the slow in her and her. You um, could tell by her speech. The, the skid marks in the grass. She was Man, flying. To yes. get them kind of skid marks, right. you gotta be going fast. Right. 
I tell Look, you, bro. And then that cat is like only like standing on like one leg on the opposite side. Yeah, she she mangled like that. Like that bro. thing is going. Yeah, when the boy, the boy was like, yeah, he like this. You gonna get charged for that? He's <laughs> <That's laughs> like, I can't get charged. I gotta go. Like, uh, uh, the boy was helping her, and then he was filming the shit. Right, but then he was like, no, I can't. You can't go with me. Like, right. wait, oh, wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. That's what the comment says. He was trying to help, but then he posted video. Right. <laughs> exactly. Like now, your face is posted all over the place. The B. Got it, you know. Yeah, you hey, gotta man. chill, man. Y'all gotta chill. Out gotta, there. gotta, gotta love. Gotta love. I can't say our people. Gotta love them. Them people. You gotta love everybody. everybody hey, man. No, no. You know what I mean? This John podcast. This John. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, y'all. Tell us what you think. God damn it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I want to know. Would you crash and dash, man? Or have you crashed and dashed? Oh, Leave I it in the comment. Tell, tell us what you think. Yeah, let us know. Let us know. God damn it. <laughs> How did you get out of it? Right, if you did crash, right. if you did crash and dash. Right, right. Shit, they knocking you like this shit, officer. Somebody stole my car. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go to video number eight. No, I'm just, what? what? I am what the hell? <laughs> did you say eight? What the hell? You are you impaired over there? What you drinking? You know drink. what? So, gotta, don't touch sorry, that can gotta, no more. I gotta cover my mic. <laughs> don't, don't touch that can no more. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you know what? Well, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Oh, cocaine Lord. is a hell of a drug. <laughs> you know what? That's the reason why CJ and Los are sitting together. I sit over here because I don't in <laughs> indulge in those extracurricular activities. Okay, only thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We know what kind of extracurricular activities you do. Uh, do uh, uh, hey. Okay, you, no, me, video number five. Video number five. Yeah. <laughs> we don't need I'll to hurry up. Yeah, 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 video, 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 video number five. Video number five. Let me, let me hurry up. Let me, let me hurry up. Let me hurry up. <laughs> get look, ready. You, look, you, heard, you heard the comeback was coming. Yeah, 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 yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, we know. We know. Yeah. <laughs> this is how. <laughs> this is how this man's ex-wife comes to pick up the kids. Oh Lord. Oh goodness. Mm -hmm. It's this jump podcast. Oh. Let's go. What is all this? What is all this? Why she got to act fool yo, like that in front of the kids? That bitch is tight. She got BBMS. I'm telling you, it is a sickness. It is an epidemic out here. And if y'all don't know um, what BBMS is, uh, it's bitter baby mom syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 it's rampant. So um, she's obviously upset about probably nothing, but <laughs> something. Yeah, and I don't know. She was, look, she, she she was mad at those bag of pretzels. It's an ex-wife, so obviously she's probably not getting the, the benefits that she used to get that she yeah, probably wants. Yeah. She <laughs> probably bought that on herself. Yeah, well, you yeah know but what? look at how she acting. I wouldn't blame him because I would divorce her ass too. She well, you looks know what? like real, she's really immature. Real quick, so there was an update. So the update said Dr. Alex Kim filed for divorce and she was arrested that night and they're waiting for the court hearing for full custody. Mm. That bitch is crazy as a much. She crazy as in a bit, boy. Right. So like, like, like Honey Dip T said, Dr. Alex Kim. <clears throat> so she was probably living a lifestyle that was oh quite nice. Right. Mm -hmm. And then for whatever reasons they split, she uh found out uh how it is uh <laughs> pay her own self. Yeah, pay, pay her own way. <laughs> Look, she <laughs> probably put it on herself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was she tight throwing right. around bags of M and M's and stuff. Them kids ain't do nothing to you. You kicking their toys yeah. at the door and all. This? What is this? Upset. <laughs> Upset. Yeah. She got to chill. So, so, we go. so the first comment says, <laughs> she is too angry. File for full custody. I pray that she does not act like this or with the children. Judge need to see this ASAP, which I'm sure would happen because yeah, yeah, she's, she's, doing, it, right she's doing it in front of them. Right. Like, come mm -hmm. on. So, and, and that's real messed up because like, okay, I can see if you, you got whatever issues with the man. Deal with that him, him personally, but don't be acting like that around the kids. Like, in, come on, in, in, because in at the, of the end kids. of the day, it's like, okay, <laughs> she's going to try to, I guess, make the kids 
uh, turn him. against him. But at the end of the day, what she's not going to realize is it's going to flip back on her. And yep. they're going to see they're going to really see her for who she really is, which is really messed up. Like, she just needs to just grow the hell up. Yeah. Like, come yeah, on. That was that's not just, even worth it. Again, at the end of the day, I always say, if I got kids with a woman and you have an issue with me, you can hate me all you want. Right. You can you could call yep. me, yep. do all that. Just don't do it in front of my kids or don't do anything to coerce my kids into believing something that ain't true. Yeah, but that's, that's where, what women do. Yeah, that's, that's what they I, do. I, again, control yourself. If you need to go to some therapy or get something, somebody to talk to, cool. But the kids shouldn't be privy to Look, that. I'm that's a not, product of that, and that's probably why I'm like that. Like, I'm a product of, you know, a parent, and I'm not going to say which one, a parent that would sit there and say so much negative about yeah. the other parent, but then the other parent never said anything. Like, mention yeah. anything negative about the other parents so it was like damn at the end of the day you sitting here trying to get me to turn against that parent but now here it is now i'm really seeing you for who you really are and now it's like i don't even look at you the same well you know in the end it all backfires because the children as they get older mm -hmm. right, they know who who is the problem parent yeah and then you think about it from a relationship standpoint that little boy was right there so what do you think his first interaction with a woman in a relationship mm. how, what do you think his first interaction will be it's gonna be aggressive he'll, he'll probably yeah. find a toxic woman because yep. he's like oh my mom is like this so i'm used to this and he yep. won't even really know what like a real good relationship looks like because of that situation because yes, so. i'm pretty sure this is not her first time acting oh, yeah. childish oh, no. like this no. she probably always do that's probably why they got a divorce in the first place no and he got an ice cold Man. so first comment says <laughs> I'm sorry. Second comment. We're on second comment. Second right? comment. Yeah. Second comment. I don't understand why he would leave such a lovely woman. <laughs> what? Yeah, right. <laughs> In the green. She's a Love darling. Her. She's yeah, a darling. Right. Yeah, hey, that is such a lovely yeah, woman. Lovely Boy, why would you leave such a lovely woman <laughs> like that? <laughs> Terrible. Now, so, last comment. <laughs> the kids inside saying you go first. Right. Uh -uh. <laughs> I wouldn't go out there with my crazy ass. You go. Look, that's probably what took them so long to answer the dad going door. <laughs> they was, look, they, oh was my, they was behind the door like, all right, you want all right, rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> no, I ain't going out there. Best of three. Come on. <laughs> uh -uh. Look, dad ain't talking about shit. <laughs> dad always oh, y'all go. He in the yard. Let me know how I go. <laughs> Just don't let her uh, through my vestibule. Lock the door behind you. Hey, but uh, as I said, you cannot, you cannot be the parent that falls for those type of toxic traits or trap, especially if you're going for custody. You got to be the bigger parent. Oh, as yeah. much as it hurts, yeah. you have to be the bigger parent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, because sometimes what they want, they want you to act out. Yeah. That's what they want you to do. Mm -hmm. For sure. And again, like not to, not to, uh, how can I say this? Not to like, it's on nobody, but the majority of the time, they waiting for us to make that wrong move so they can hammer us yeah. in that situation. And especially then, the man. Especially, the, especially the man. And they'll so believe it's like, the female. Like, oh yeah, we he did this and he did And now you want to play victim. No, you can't play like victim we have after to you have just did all Way this. more constraint and control right. in there. You know, the women in there, he ain't ass. He don't do that. But they going ham. But and a we man, still you, just got to sit man, there. You can't, you yeah, can't, you can't be like that. You can't be with him say the last one. Can't be emotional. So you got to understand, all right, cool. I let her get her stuff off. I'll just explain to the judge my part and then go from there. So it's just like that situation never works out for us. So it's like, thank God he has, you know, some type of evidence got video, to got show video evidence. because, yep. Yep. you know, he'll go in there if, without that and just be like, no, she was kicking my door. I wasn't doing none of that. Like, it's it's crazy. And they won't believe him. Nope. Right. They won't even believe him. They won't believe him. why she said people show you who they are, believe them. And also set boundaries, and that's the truth. You got oh, sure. Like that's you gotta, sure. you got. Look, I don't go by based on your words. You can tell me everything until the sky turns blue. But what I'm gonna believe, I'm gonna believe what I see. Uh, yeah. Believe yep. your actions. You get one. You don't even get a whole red flag with me. 
You got a half a. Soon as I think I see it, half a flag. Is that a flag coming out her pocket? <laughs> oh yeah, my boy. Yeah, no, <laughs> no. I see it slipping out her back pocket, looking like a, looking like a, 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 a gang rag. A, what is they call bandana? Bandana. Yeah. Oh wait, is that? Oh, is that a red? Oh yeah, red flag. Nah, I ain't here. working. Yeah, I'm out here. <laughs> oh man, listen. Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, like, y'all. Comment, don't subscribe. Don't subscribe. We appreciate y'all. And for all of our new subscribers that join us tonight. Yes. Bye, bitches. <laughs> <laughs>